Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna do a favorites video. So this is everything that I've been loving and reaching for over the past couple months. So everything will be listed down below in the description. So I have a range of like beauty products, home items, some cleaning products, and some random stuff. So just going through in no particular order, starting off with the Colgate. This is the Optic White Pro Series. This is a whitening toothpaste. I have had the hardest time with sensitivity with my teeth. So I was using another whitening toothpaste that I loved. I couldn't use it all the time. It was causing severe sensitivity at times. And I've been using this for probably like three weeks now and I haven't had any issues whatsoever. My husband also has sensitive teeth. He's been using it. No issues whatsoever. It has definitely lightened my teeth quite a bit. I am a coffee drinker and I also drink a lot of Diet Pepsi. I know it's not great, but I find that I gotta use something to try to combat those stains. And this definitely works. I got it in a three pack from Target. I think you can also get it from Costco for probably cheaper. I am a big fan of affordable skincare. I don't wanna spend a lot of money. I don't feel like you have to. I'd rather save my money for other things like getting laser done or a little Botox. This is the Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. Um, it is amazing. I've been using it nonstop. So how I like to use it is I'll put a generous clump onto my hand and rub it all over my face and on my neck and then I go right into the shower. It just loosens and removes all the makeup, just melts it away and then you can just wash your face with water in the shower and then I just go in and I use my regular CeraVe cleanser and all the makeup is gone. It is just amazing. It takes everything off, like any stubborn makeup takes it off and it's super affordable. Next up, I've been on the hunt for some good sports bras. There was a kind that I liked that I think Target sold. I don't know if it was Champion, but they don't make them anymore. And I'd been needing some new ones. I tried a couple by like different brands and I just didn't love them. Like they were a little bit too tight. So these are also Target and they are all in motion. And I got a size medium. I just started with two colors. So they're very stretchy. And I like that it comes down, like you know where your sports bra or your bra ends and like sometimes if it's tight, you have like that little like chunk of like fat. So this covers over that and it's very smoothing. And what I like about these straps is not only are they adjustable, but they're thick and they're very stretchy and they don't dig into your shoulders at all. And I like that it's seamless. So it's definitely not gonna cause like any bulging. You just wanna make sure obviously you get the right size. Like if it's too tight, then it's gonna cause bulging, but I find it to be very stretchy. I got the black and the white. Next up are these Fabletics leggings. I've been doing their membership for probably like two years now. I wanna say it's like 50 bucks a month, but you can always skip and stuff like that. So I mean, Definitely check it out. Like if you like to get new workout gear, they have some really cute pieces. The good stuff does sell out fast depending on what your size is, but you gotta try the Motion 365. I've tried other ones. I think these are the best. I wish that they would make them in more colors and styles. So what I love about these is that they don't dig and the fabric is a little different. I also like, I can't remember what it is, but I'll put it up on the screen. These are just a little bit different. They're more forgiving. So if you tend to like fluctuate with your weight, all these fuzzes flying in front of my face. If you tend to fluctuate with your weight, like I'll go up and down 10 pounds throughout the month. That's why I love these because they're very forgiving and they just stretch all around like in the thighs and the stomach and you don't have to worry about them feeling too tight. They're just very forgiving. I don't know how to explain it, but they also suck everything in. They're not like a high, high compression, but they definitely have some compression. Back to some makeup. So I put up a recent video of products that I've been loving. I think I put it on, I don't know if I put it on YouTube or if it was on somewhere else, but actually I think I did put it on YouTube. So this is the Milani Cream Bronzer. It's the Cheek Kiss Bronzer and the shade is Hey Honey. I have it on today. It is the perfect bronzy contour shade. It's not super warm, but it still has like enough warmth. And I've been using this every day. So what I do is I just put my regular foundation on. I'll do a little bit, I'll do concealer, I'll do powder. So I'll powder under my eyes, I'll powder down here. I'll leave this section blank and this section blank. And then I'll go in with the Milani and just chisel out cheekbones and around the perimeter of my face and then a little bit here. So blendable, I love it. I I said this on my other video, this is hands down the best cream bronzer that I have tried and it's a drugstore price. So there you go. 
This is a fun one. I love the Huda Beauty powder, the cherry blossom, the Easy Bake powder. And if you saw, she came out with the fragrance because they took the fragrance out of the powder. I guess some people requested it to have no fragrance. I personally love the fragrance. And I think she released it on like April Fool's Day or something like that where people thought it was a joke, but then it wasn't. When I saw that post, I was so intrigued because I love the scent. Like when I wear the powder, I find myself like, like I'm like sniffing because I love the way it smells so much. So when I saw that she came out with a spray and it was limited edition, I just had to get it. So it smells exactly like the powder, but a little bit better. I'll put the notes up on the screen. I don't know if she still has any in stock because it was limited edition, or maybe it was like sold out and they were gonna be restocking. But if you're looking for a good, like delicious, most soft, floral, powdery, like delicious smelling fragrance, definitely pick it up. I think it's fantastic. I've been using it nonstop. So this is a little bit different. I got this for Mother's Day. It is a Kodak Instant Dock printer. It prints out four by sixes and I love it. So I've been scrapbooking for my kids. I'll link to it in the cards up above the scrapbooking video that I did, but it comes with the glossy prints that you put in here. And then a very interesting roll of, I guess it's uh, the photo printer cartridge. And it's like a film. So it's not ink, it's more like a film. So I'll show you a picture of what the pictures look like because I am so impressed with this thing. You just plug it in, you hook it up to your phone on your Bluetooth and you literally just hit print and it prints them out. And here's the pictures that it printed out. So the quality is really good. I'm super impressed. Like here's one, I don't know how great you can see. Here's another couple that I need to add to the scrapbook, but it's just so easy. So if you need, I feel like even if you're like a mom during the school year, teachers will be like, send in a family picture, send in this picture. You know, you might just need like one print and you don't wanna have to go to Rite Aid or send it in, it's a pain in the butt. So just having a little dock printer I think it was like around a hundred dollars, but totally worth it, especially if you want to get into some scrapbooking. So then you can just pick out the pictures and you can print them out yourself. You don't have to worry about sending them all out. The printer dock has definitely come in handy. So I just do one for each of my kids with a bunch of stickers and prints and typically four by six. I wish that it did print other sizes. It would be nice to have like the little ones or maybe even like a five by seven. So it's definitely good to have for that last minute stuff. So I did just do a video two weeks ago and I reorganized under my bathroom sink and I got these storage organizers from Amazon for $29 a set of two. So I'll insert a quick clip of that, but these organizers are great. I love that they're white and clear and only $29. I was able to completely revamp my space and fit so much more stuff in. And I ended up ordering a couple more for other areas of the house and like down in the kitchen. If you're looking for some new storage and you like the way these ones look, definitely check them out. You really can't beat it for $29. You guys know that I love these disinfectant mop pads or mop cloths. And I like the Scentivia. Normally I go for the Lavender Vanilla, I think it's called, but I did try out, this is the, where's the Coconut and Water Lily. And I love it. It's just so fresh and so summery, perfect for spring and summer. If you just want like that vacation smell vibe, this is what I've been using routinely in my bathrooms to clean my bathroom floors and then the laundry room floor. Very quick and easy, one, two, three, and this scent is amazing. Next up, so I love Glow Recipe and I do like the regular dew drops that they have. So these are the Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Hue Drops. They have a little bit of like a sun bronzy glow. I'll put it on my hand, but what I've been loving these for more than doing my face is I mix this in with a little SPF and I've been putting it on my neck and my chest area. So you don't have like that shimmery shiny, but you do have like that glow, but then you're also protected and it's skincare, so it comes out on the pump like this. It's definitely bronzy, very glowy. You can see as you rub it in, it definitely gives a really pretty, healthy hue to the skin. So I've been liking using it more on my neck and my chest, but if you don't like the stickiness of the regular product of the dewdrops, I find that these are even a little bit more sticky 
They do eventually dry down, but I just wanna forewarn you that it definitely does have like that tackiness still. So last up is a pair of sandals. So DSW was having a buy one, get one half off, I think. I don't know if it was like a couple weeks ago. So I picked these up. They had like the tannish white beige color. And then they also had black, I believe. And these are Toms. They are so comfortable. They're very squishy. And I'm like very, I like my shoes to be comfortable. I'm not at the point now in my life where I wanna be wearing heels and be uncomfortable. I wanna be comfortable. They strap around the ankle. And what I love is if you have more narrow feet, which I have very narrow feet, narrow ankles, I have a hard time finding shoes that fit me width wise and around the ankle. These fit me like a glove. I got a seven and a half and I would say that they're very true to size. And I find that they're more like narrow feet friendly, but they'll be cute to wear with shorts and even like a sundress or jeans. They kind of go with everything. That's everything for this favorites video. I'll see you guys next week. Again, everything will be linked down below if you want to check it out and I'll see you guys next week. Bye guys.